I would like to cover the latest Texas Department of Motor Vehicles updates regarding the legal use of your e-tags right now. I want you to be aware that the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles has seen a dramatic increase in the illegal use of e-tags. So I want to make sure you are using your e-tags correctly. And as a reminder, we are an approved training provider for the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. Whether you're interested in obtaining your dealer's license for the first time or you're renewing your license, we can certainly give you your approved course. And I would really appreciate your consideration of choosing us to serve as your dealer license training partner. You can always find lots of great dealer startup and renewal information, including the dealer training course at texasdealers.com. And we want to earn your business and your business would be greatly appreciated. The e-tag system is designed to make processing temporary tags fast and easy for dealerships throughout the state of Texas, while making temporary tag information available in real time to law enforcement as well. The Texas Department of Motor Vehicles is dedicated to helping dealers remain compliant with the use of your e-tag system, and they want you to be a smart dealer. Uh, the purpose of this video is to advise licensed dealers of the types of temporary tags available in the system and how you can use these dealer e-tags as well. Okay, And there are basically four types of e-tags, and each tag has a specific use. There's your buyer tag, dealer vehicle specific tag, dealer authorized agent tag, and your internet down tag. So first, let's take a look and look at the Texas buyer tag. The buyer's tag is issued with the retail sale of a vehicle that's in the dealer's inventory. You will never place this on a vehicle that is in your inventory. It's when you have sold a vehicle. Okay, so it goes to the buyer. The dealer must enter the vehicle and the buyer's information into the e-tag system, and we cover that extensively in your dealer pre-license and renewal training course. And the system assigns a specific tag number to the transaction, which can easily be printed out. Now, always remember, only one buyer tag can be issued for each retail sale. The vehicle must have a current inspection if it's titled in the state of Texas, must be displayed and secured in the rear license plate holder okay you're not putting this in the back window or anything like that it must be displayed and secured in the rear license plate holder you must keep a buyer tag receipt in the vehicle until register so make sure and remind your customer to keep a buyer tag receipt in that vehicle you know if they get pulled over by law enforcement and they can't produce that buyer tag receipt then that prop that customer is going to have some problems with uh with that uh with that law enforcement officer because you've, they've got to be able to produce the buyer tag receipt you know if a tag's damaged lost or stolen you know, uh, you've got to enter a reason and remarks, and then you can create a new buyer tag with the original selling date. You know, that's like if your customer drives down the road and that temp, that buyer tag falls off their license plate frame or something and they come back and want a replacement, the state will allow if it's damaged, lost, or stolen, they, then you can recreate another one with the original sales date. Uh, you know, also keep that in mind, that tag is valid for 60 calendar days. And a dealer is required to apply for the registration within 20 working days from the date of the sale or 45 calendar days if that's a seller finance. And then they've got to have that finance license with the OCCC. I'm sure that you're probably aware of that. A dealer is required to collect a $5 fee from the buyer each time that an e-tag is issued for in-state and out-of-state sales. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Uh, you know, you can obviously never sell these uh, like to the general public or something like that. They're only placed on vehicles when a person has bought a vehicle. That's why it's called a buyer tag. Now, let's take another look at a different tag, which is called a dealer vehicle specific tag. OK, dealer tags may be issued and affixed to a vehicle in the dealer's inventory that's used for for demonstrations. So your customers are going to be driving around with one of these, uh, you know, from transit from dealer to dealer or to a dealer auction or on a loaner car assigned to a consumer whose vehicle is being repaired, okay? When sending a vehicle to the auction, a dealer may wish to issue a vehicle-specific tag for that specific vehicle that will be driven to the auction to be sold. And, you know, and additionally, vehicle-specific tags contain the vehicle's VIN and cannot be moved from vehicle to vehicle. So they are for a specific vehicle with that VIN that is uh, that matches that vehicle. Now, another type of tag is the, your authorized agent tag. So when you have an agreement with an agent or employee, you know, you, the dealer, may issue an authorized agent tag. This tag may be moved from a vehicle to vehicle and does not contain a specific VIN number. OK, so that's one that a, maybe a, your general manager or sales manager or salesperson can actually use. OK, now it must be displayed and secured in the rear license plate holder. 
Uh, you know, for this specific one, it doesn't need a current inspection, but when you're selling that vehicle, it does. You can, uh, it's only valid for one to 60 days and the title must be in the name of, of the dealership or assigned to the dealership. And remember, you can never affix one of these to a vehicle that's carrying a load. Uh, you're not using them for per personal business and you do not place these on vehicles that are sold in a retail sale. Remember, you've got to use your buyer tag for that. The final type of e-tag that we're going to talk about is your internet down tag. Internet down tags are issued when the internet or the e-tag system is down. Sometimes e-tag system might be down for system maintenance. And in that case, then you can actually use an internet down tag. These tags are going to be printed up before the sale. Okay, so if that system's unavailable. So after printing the tags, they must be kept in a very secure location. Uh, you know, the tag is going to be manually filed out prior to affixing the tag to the vehicle that you have sold to a customer. Remember, you as the dealer, you're responsible for ensuring that the tag is assigned to the purchaser in the e-tag system within 24 hours of when the e-tag becomes available in order for the proper customer information to appear in the event that that customer is stopped by law enforcement. So, so other than that, the same requirements would be as a buyer tag. So as a reminder, do not issue additional tags on previous retail sales. Do not offer for sale any vehicle uh, with, with that temporary down tag, okay? You do not issue tags for vehicles that are not in your dealer inventory. And always remember, you cannot allow any type of unrestricted access to those tags. You've got to make sure, especially on these internet down tags, that you've stored them in a very, very safe location. So in order to attempt and prevent fraud, or misuse of temporary tags. All e-tag tags, I'm sorry, all e-tags have multiple security features. However, all dealers should create security policies that ensure that the vehicle uh, specific or authorized agent tags are not placed on vehicles that are left on a dealer lot overnight. I guarantee you they're going to get stolen. So you never want to keep leave any e-tag on a vehicle overnight. And this will really prevent the theft of tags or counterfeiting tags or you know any type of violations that are attributed to uh, you, the dealer, for losing a tag as well. So dealers do have the ability to select the duration of a vehicle-specific or authorized agent tag between one and 60 days. So you do have that choice to issue either a one to 60-day tag. Okay, 60 days is going to be the limit on that. All tags, including internet down tags, should be locked up and secured. Okay, you want to make sure these are your responsibility. So you want to make sure that you are the only ones really uh, that has access okay when a dealer license is approved uh, obviously the username and password that is sent to the email prov address provided during the e-licensing application process is the one that's on the file is on file with the texas department of motor vehicles and if you do choose to take your six hour pre-licensing course through us we are going to cover you extensively and show you exactly how to use that e-licensing process in a step-by-step -step manner so when you've taken our training you're going to be an e-licensing expert. So uh, basically everything's done online and we cover that in your process of the training at texasdealers.com. So remember when you're signing up for that, the primary e-tag user will have the ability to act as a system administrator for the dealer in case it's not you. Uh, you can assign an administrator uh, and then they would be able to assign the tags for you. But always remember a licensed dealer is responsible for any e-tag violations committed by one of its users. So if you've got an administrator maybe a general manager or something like that doing this for you, you are responsible for all the actions of that general manager or that agent. And there's been a lot of violations here and, and a lot of dealers have been issuing uh, e-tags illegally. So that's why the state is stepping up compliance on this, okay? So uh, the administrator should be able to disable any user who's terminated, who's left the employment of the dealership. So if you ever have a salesperson you know, that leaves or something like that. You want to make sure and eliminate their user access to your e-tag system. You know, think about this. Uh, it's a misuse of the e-tag system to offer for sale any temporary tag or issue multiple buyer tags for an individual retail sale. You can't issue, mul issue multiple buyer tags um, and you cannot issue a dealer tag for a vehicle purchased in a retail sale that did not meet legal compliance. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always make copies of all your temporary tags. You want to document absolutely uh, everything that you do and in your dealer license training course, we're going to cover that process for you. Or if you're renewing your license, we're going to cover that process as well. Documenting every piece of paperwork that comes across your dealership desk is very important and staying compliant with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. So, you know, if you have any questions specifically about ETEC, I want to give you the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles Enforcement Division 
uh, information. And you can call them directly in Austin at 512-465-4205. Or you can call 888-368-4689. Once again, that's txdmv.gov. And this they do have a specific email address at enforcement at txc, I'm sorry, txdmv.gov. So I hope, I really hope you have found this information on the legal use of e-tags advantageous for you and your dealership. And I would like to let you know if you ever want to enroll in the Texas Dealer Training Course, you can just visit texasdealers.com and click on that big blue Enroll Now button. And we would really appreciate you choosing the Automobile Dealer Training Association as your Texas Dealer Licensed Training Partner. So I want to wish you the very best of luck with your business.